Feel it. He started turning. Oh my gosh. Step, you gotta come in the camera now. You have to do it. Alright, so we're babying her just a little bit. Things are starting to wind down. We've had three accidents. Um, she loves this. Can I have kisses? <laughs> She's so cute. Alright, put her down. We gotta we gotta do a few things here. So we're gonna be working on a few things. Um, I don't have one of the sticks that I'm gonna use, but I did bring a sock, as you're saying, right now um, that I'm using. So we're gonna be doing a handling exercise and drop, okay? So a drop is gonna be a uh, cue. So let's go ahead and start with our priming exercise. Calvin, sit. And so she gets a treat for waiting. Henry gets one. All right, she's nice and she's ready. All right, so let's go working. Let's work on drop. Hey, so don't chase her. She's gonna know you don't want her to have it. But we're gonna show her what's, we're gonna find out what's more valuable to her. So a simple little bone. Quiet, go to your spot. A simple little bone here, a little crunchy bone that I got. Here's the brand that I use. These are great, very healthy for them. They're good, they're meaty, very tasty. Come on, loves. Go. Come on. Okay, so let me get my dogs out of here. Come on, guys. Quiet. yesterday. Drop. So see? So see, she found out what was more valuable to her. The sock or the hat? Clearly the sock. I've been wearing it for four hours. Leave it. Good, leave it. Leave it. Good, leave it. So see, we're building upon what we learned yesterday. I know. You're being good. Here you go. Okay, I think it's almost time for us to get a stick. But a drop is really simple. The trick is, is just not, not chasing her too much and then relying on your luring. Good. It's a good drop. All right, I'm going to leave that here while I go outside and go grab a stick. And I'm going to use this pen. For a She loves the sticks. That's what she's always going for outside. Drop. So see, it's a little more valuable. Drop. Good girl. We walk away. Drop the stick. Leave it. Leave it. Good. So see, we just stop her thought process. I mean, I've had dogs that will try to jump over my foot to get the stick or whatever it is. Go and leave it. So see, I slide it. See that little impulse control? That's what we've been working on. 
Ah. Hey, leave it. Great job. Excellent work. Love you to pieces. All right, so you get the idea of this. This is definitely something I want you to carry over just to prep her for good impulse control. It's just good practice to be able to do that kind of stuff, okay? It's, it's so good for her. And then also doing this in a little bit of a social setting as well. Super good for her. This is what I like to offer with board trains. All this kind of stuff you're seeing right here is awesome. So we're gonna work on a handling exercise with this stick right here just for a second. I don't have a proper bone to use for this, but handling exercises are gonna be huge for her, especially a golden. I think she's gonna do just fine, but I wanna prep you anyway. So we might not even have to use this, but I'm gonna put it in my pocket anyway. So handling exercise. First you start with the head. I used to do this in my puppy classes I used to teach back in the day. Here we go. That's what you want. Touch your paws, just gently. You know, having a brush or a bone is the best thing to do. So like holding it right there while you pet her. Let me bust this stick out of my pocket. I know, you're just being such a pup right now. All right, here you go. You can hold on to this. Good. Good. And so see, we're doing it together. It's about us doing this together. Touch your tail, touch your paws. Ideally, you want them to do this after a long, long training session or a long walk, run, play time, whatever it is. She can start to calm down. Put your hands in there. Touch those gums. Good. You don't want her eating any of this, really. But the main thing is the paws. And I'll show you before we sign off here how Rigby does with this pause, and you'll see what you don't want your dog to be like. Or Zoe, um, because you know, you're gonna, I mean, you'll probably take her to a groomer, but like nail trimmings, all that stuff right there, you want to be as smooth as possible because, you know, I put up with, I mean, I'm not just trying to like toot my own horn, but I put up with a lot of dogs and I, you know, it's fine. I don't, I don't complain too much. Um, they can just be dogs, but groomers, in my experience, they do complain. Um, I could be wrong, but. Those back legs. Hey, drop. Drop. She'll kick it away, see what she does. She just likes to skin them, is what it seems like. Sit on it. Hey. Throwing that head around, throw that head around. I know. Really, the idea is like this is supposed to mint this is meant to calm, but it can also be used just to desensitize them to touch. Mainly paws, mouth, that kind of stuff, whenever they want to be doing something else rather than being encumbered. use a treat one more time and then we're going to sign off. We don't traditionally bring sticks in for puppies to chew on here, but this is a special occasion. But she's on the mat, so let's say this is a bone. That's where you really want her to be doing this stuff. Drop. Good. You pay her and then you take it. Good. There, and you take it. Good. Pair, and you take it. Pair, and then you take it. All right, it's a great example. I hope you really enjoy this. Hope you find it useful. But any and all impulse control is what I do a lot of. Okay, that's the main stuff: walking manners, potty training, impulse control. Those are the three main requests I get. So I hope that you found this useful. I hope you found your dog as cute as we think she is, which I know you guys do. So 
Um, we will talk soon, and I will. Yeah, we'll just talk soon. We'll figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. Tomorrow, probably a potty training update. Ah, stop it! Stop the video. <laughs> that won't stop.